capabilities of your enemy. He won't aim at the table. Kid's father trains communist terrorists. He poses a threat to our national security here and abroad. Any threat must be eliminated.
Are you aware that you're trespassing? What are you doing here? Hey, listen. This is just a recon mission. I see. Well, we'll soon find out. Take them back to the camp. going to give you one more chance. Tell me, what were you doing just outside our perimeter? Or you're next. Please, I swear to you, we were on a routine reconnaissance. You must believe me, please. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Uh, please, don't kill me. There are no missions. We didn't know about this place. Let me go, please. Okay, I'll let you go. The border's in that direction. I'll give you a five-minute head start. Then me and my men are coming after you. If you make it to the border, you're a free man. If you don't, you give my men some practice. You're wasting time. Over.
Hotel. Give it to the manager. Go now. No. Go. No day. the film has escaped colonel stupid scum i suppose you realize that you're on private territory who sent you you won't get any answers out of me you slimy calmly bastard damn it man. Uh, 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 uh. i don't want to hurt you who do you work for Sit down, Python. Recognize the man in those photos?
Brilliant Marshal, Green Beret Special Forces. He's been declared missing in action for years. Those photos were smuggled out of Vietnam by a female operative. She's in deep shock and she's babbling about a communist terrorist training camp run by Colonel Marshall. Colonel Marshall was one of the best guys in the force, if not the best. If he's turned red and is training terrorist, you've got yourself a problem. That's why you're here, Python. The defense secretary is very upset and wants this report verified. Round up these three Vietnam War vets. I'm sending the four of you on a mission. Five. Howard, how did you... I checked out what was going on in the infirmary. And I talked with your Vietnamese woman. You're sending five people because I'm joining this mission, Mr. Adams. Out of the question, Howard. This mission is much too dangerous. These men may not get out of Vietnam in one piece. I was trained in commando jungle warfare and terrorist tactics. Hell, I'm just good as Python or any of your men. Most of all, Mr. Adams, Colonel Marshall is my father. Which only makes it more difficult, Howard. You'll only endanger the mission. Begging your pardon, sir. Killing or getting killed won't make it any better. You were my father's friend. And you know if there is anybody who can talk sense to my father, it's me. Makes sense to me. All right, Howard, you're in. But only if you agree to two conditions. One, if Colonel Marshall is not what he seems to be, then get him out at all cost. But if he's actually switched sides, trains and supports the enemy, then you have no recourse but to terminate him with extreme prejudice. Do you understand that, Howard? Python, you'll find all the details of this mission in those dossiers. And one more thing. If you fail to make it back, this department shall disavow any knowledge of your participation in this mission. Good luck, gentlemen. I don't like this, man. These guys aren't coming. Let's get the hell out of here. Relax. The ladies on. Give me some time. That's great, Gurner. That's just great. We've been waiting around this lousy dump for two hours. Now let's hit the road before some cop starts nosing around. What the? We've been trying to put this deal together for two weeks now. I'm not going to blow it because some scud is caught in a traffic jam. We wait. Ah, of course. You're not answering my question. What about the cops? What cops? This isn't them. These are schoolboys we're playing with. Mira el cabrón. It's a bird! Adiós. It was nice doing business with you. Vámonos!
Beats the hell out of me. Back off, man. We got no beef with you. Listen, man. Wherever you are, just take the stash and we'll split. Shut up, Cable. Who are you? You're losing your touch, Garner. When did you learn to shoot that bad? Why them why? How did you find them? Fully decorated Vietnam War veterans who have stooped so low as to push skag. It wasn't that difficult. We need money to feed our families, not medals. Well, then let's talk. Now just hold it a damn minute. Somebody's got to explain to us what's going on here. All of you, come with me. That stuff wears off in about an hour. Catch, man. How well do you know this guy? I knew him in now, man. He was a stand-up guy. Good enough for me. At least let's listen to the man. I'm here to offer each of you $250,000. 250 grand? For what? Come on, man, don't jerk us around. What's this all about? Rescue mission. In Vietnam. In your here? I don't ever want to go back there again. Worse than peddling skag? Getting you busted? Serving time in the can? $250,000. It's a lot of money. You can do a lot of things with that kind of money. More fun than being busted broke. All right. Now listen, hold on there a minute. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather be doing something I'm good at. And at a good price. What the hell? Where do I sign up? I'm in. What about you, Garner? We're tapped out. Good. We begin training tomorrow morning at 0500 hours. Have a nice night, gentlemen. Training? The type of training you're about to undergo, while it's still in its developmental stages, is best suited for our purposes. It's a combination of good old U.S. military know-how, commando survival, and fighting techniques. 
with little of that oriental martial art ninjutsu thrown in. Today is terrain awareness training. You're to cross this little patch of forest and get to the other side in 10 minutes. To liven up our little party, we added a few traps along the way. Some trip-wired explosives here and there, and a couple of snipers. So please, watch your step. So put on your masks, get used to them. Oh, one more thing. The snipers are using live ammo. All right, ladies. It's party time. Go.
are we doing here, man? Ten minutes and ten seconds. Not bad if you're a Boy Scout. Fuck that! If you two guys would just cut us some slack back there. The enemy's not going to cut you any slack, Garner. Hell, the rate you were moving across, I would have made dog food out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's a bright young boy there? That's uh, Howard Marshall, son of Colonel William Marshall. One of the few men in the service that's ever passed this kind of training. He's with us. Okay, down and dirty, and here's one to show. Damn it, Smitty, you always forget Shit. to ante. You got enough bread in your pocket, you can afford 50 for an ante. Okie dokie, everybody in. Let's have a look and see what's happening. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna enjoy taking you first boys' money. First day spets, first day spets. I'll bet a hundred. I'll bet you a hundred, and I'll fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's to you. I'll match that. All right. All right, pot's right. Deuce. <laughs> Two aces. One of them. What happened to our guns? Looking for these ladies? Never underestimate the capabilities of your enemy. He won't aim at the table.
looking for us, ladies? Not bad. The result of your training is very impressive, Python. You've managed to turn these social misfits back to their formidable fighting form, and better. You've done a good job. By the way, you're leaving for Vietnam the day after tomorrow. Any last minute words of wisdom? Yes, there are. I'm not too keen on that Marshal kid. I'm not sure how he's going to react when he sees his old man after such a long period of time. After all, this is the most dangerous mission he's ever been on. You want him out of the mission? No, he's still in. But I want you to be the second gun. If Howard fails in his assignment, you terminate the colonel. Kill the kid's father. The kid's father trains communist terrorists. He poses a threat to our national security here and abroad. Any threat must be be eliminated. Do you understand, Python? I understand.
Bao kịch. Bao kịch. Chúng tôi bị bao kịch. Bao kịch. Bitch. Too late. Too late. 
going to do with us? Where's Colonel Marshall? I don't know. The hell you don't. You're going to kill him, aren't you? Aren't you?
and get some assholes. The last I was in your shitty little country.
dirty bastards. Don't make me do it, Dad. What do you want to do, kid? Shoot your old man? Not unless I have to. I'm a soldier, trained to kill the enemy. They train you to shoot your own father? Can you? Maybe you can. You may be a soldier, but you ain't got no guts. You're not my son. Cool. 